and you've got to be hiding on the other side of the moon to not get that. Uh, Bob Chapman comments on what he was just saying. I think you covered it, Alex. I mean, John, you that's, call that's in. the beginning and end of it. I mean, you call in with the same crud every time. Obviously, the government infiltrated right-wing groups and left-wing groups. We're here exposing that. I just did two days on COINTELPRO exposing that. And you're telling me I'm engaged in COINTELPRO when I'm pointing out I don't want to live under communism. I, I, John, stay there. I want to come back with you and Bob because I want to I just ask you a question. Does most of the White House openly write articles saying communism's good? Okay, I, I mean, come on. It does exist, and we're not COINTELPRO because we say it. There has never been one case of communists taking over where they don't rob and steal from people. There has not been one case in modern history. Look at the communists in Russia, China, everywhere. Look at uh, how they're always funded by the big banks on record. Uh, look at how... We have seen the government health care plan cheered on by the collectivists, the communists, the socialists, the free ride people. And, oh, lo and behold, they're going to get their Medicare and Medicaid cut. Lo and behold, they're going to get a lower standard of care. It's all a theft. It's all a theft. I, I, I guess Dennis Kucinich, according to John, is COINTELPRO then because he's saying what I'm saying. Here we are day after day exposing the Nazis in every major case of being COINTELPRO. They run both sides of the control paradigm. Everything I'm about is shattering that paradigm. And John calls in and cannot get out of it because he's religiously committed to it. And he will never, no matter if he listens for a thousand years, ever understand it. Isn't that right, John? Well, you know, if anybody is committed to dogma, I think it's uh, your mentor, the John Birch Society, who has uh, been intimately involved with COINTELPRO through the 50s, 60s, and 70s, using your kinds of slander, this fire hose of sewer water, smearing people. Uh, I've been exposed to You know what, Obama. John? Stop I've right there. Stop. Put, put him on hold. I was sent little snippets of George Washington's letter saying... On the contrary, sir, no one is more satisfied of the fact that the Illuminati is operating in the U.S. than I. People said, look, he's satisfied with the Illuminati. He means I'm satisfied it's operating. The next paragraph said it is the most despicable, horrible group of Jacobins and criminals out of France. I've been fighting them in my entire last administration, and I fight them now that I've left. And I hear this about the John Birch Society. It's all made up. It's made up crud. The government tried to infiltrate them and demonize them. It's made up. It's made up. You have no proof, John. Anything else, John? Yes, uh, just uh, look up those connections between the, the Nazi CIA network brought in, the FBI, and the COINTELPRO operations collaborating with those groups and, and John Birch Society during those decades. They were the most uh, scabrous elements, scurrilous elements, working for the CIA, the FBI, okay. and discrediting people, calling them communist, uh, making up stuff. Uh, trying to provoke things. They did it through their private intelligence group, the Western Goals Association, which was allied in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in Germany with the, the Galen Nazi organization. So if this is your inspiration and your source of truth about communism and socialism, you know I exposed Obama long before you did. You know I exposed this... Uh, long before I did. Like I, like, I don't even know your last name, John. I know nothing about you. I appreciate your call. I appreciate your delusional call. I know you no. I know you live in Ohio or you say you do. <laughs> I know you you call once a month anytime I talk bad about communist. My inspiration is the Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence, Constitution. And I have found in John Birch's books and videos I've watched, it's all extremely accurate. I mean it's a fact that big banks fund the communist. It's a fact they're funding all these people that say they're communist in the Obama administration. You're COINTELPRO. With what you're doing. I don't believe you're consciously doing it. But, I mean, this is how this divide and conquer works. I spend the last few weeks, but really the last two days, intensely. About how Hal Turner and the Nazis are FBI. And how he's an FBI agent with the proof in federal court. I spend all this time exposing how all of this is going on. And then you call in and accuse me? I'm here fighting against the government takeover of health care. I'm fighting against new wars. I'm fighting against corrupt Rick Perry and K. Belly Hutchinson. I'm good. 
I know communism's bad. You always call in on the other calls and plug communist websites and stuff and tell me how great they are. Give me a break, man. Just because I don't like communism doesn't mean I'm bad. I mean, it's sick. The Russians declassified all their files on McCarthy and how he was absolutely right and they were worried about him. Because McCarthy found out the army was funding Russia. Joe Stalin was our ally. They, they helped keep him in power. They gave him all the weapons. They gave him nukes. They fried some patsies. And I've tried to, you know what, I, John, every time he calls, I explain the basics to him. He doesn't understand it. John, it's a synthesis of the two sides. The big banks needed to have an artificial clash of civilizations. Just like they fund radical Muslims, so they didn't have a pretext to go into those countries. That's the more modern system. With communism, and it's been declassified, the West, the British and the U.S. and others, and big banks, on record, the people that took over Russia came out of Brooklyn. They shipped them over there, 1917, 1918. I'll, I'll finish up with this when we come back, because it's an important issue as we try to shatter the left-right paradigm. The left right paradigm is communism on one end and fascism on the other. And when you really look at fascism and communism, they're basically the same thing. A boot stomping on the human face forever. I mean, it's just disgusting, John. More calls straight ahead.